There's nothing out there quite like Fresh Air with Terry Gross. It began as a local program in 1975 on WHYY in Philadelphia, but now it celebrates 35 years as a daily national broadcast. This NPR staple is where many of us come for some of the most insightful interviews anywhere. Over the decades, it's become a place where artists, musicians, actors, directors, playwrights, authors, poets, showrunners, talk show hosts, open up about their work, their process, and their life. The show is co-executive produced by Danny Miller and directed by Roberta Sherrock, but it is host and co-executive producer Terry Gross who's front and center. Her sultry voice and impish laugh are unmistakable, iconic even. Over the years, Terry has perfected a singular kind of interview. She's part conversationalist, part therapist, and part oral historian. She effortlessly brings out the unexpected in her guests. Above all, she's a great listener, attentive and probing without ever feeling intrusive. Terry displays genuine interest in what makes artists great, not just as creators, but as individuals whose personal history and humanity inspire the art itself. This curiosity is what set Fresh Air apart. You feel like you're being allowed to eavesdrop on a truly fascinating cocktail party conversation. And I am proud to present Fresh Air with Terry Gross, this year's Peabody Institutional Award. Congratulations. From WHYY in Philadelphia, I'm Terry Gross with Fresh Air. Where I went to school was about 130, 40 miles from where I lived. So I was crying and missing my mom and all that. And see, kids, instead of sympathizing with me, they would pick on you. Did you, you have good <laughs> medical care at the time? Oh, no, honey. You, 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 you know, you're thinking about much later in life. I mean, I, I, I bless your heart. I appreciate the question, but no, no, medically. I mean, I don't think anybody in those days even knew what that was. I must say, strapping on the, um, the bulletproof vest, uh, along with my partner, Mark, who was also in a bulletproof vest, was really extraordinary. And, uh, we had plans for getting me out if a bomb went off or shots were fired. So um, in the midst of that setting, there was this wonderful worship of God and uh, this great tradition of the church where some 50 bishops gathered around and laid hands on me and made me a part of the apostolic succession. It was just extraordinary. When I heard you had a book coming out, I thought, what a good excuse <laughs> well, <laughs> to call well, up Maurice well, Sendak and have a chat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what we always do, isn't it? Yeah, it's it is. It's what we've always done. It is. Thank God we're still around to do it. Yes. And I'll, almost certainly I'll go before you go, <laughs> so I won't have to miss you. Oh, God, what a... S <laughs> and, and I don't know whether I'll do another book or not. I might doesn't matter. I'm a happy old man, but I will cry my way all the way to the grave. <laughs> I'm really glad we had a chance to talk. I am too. And I wish you all good things. I wish you all good things. Live your life, live your life, live your life. We were asked to lie face down on the ground, and they started putting our arms behind our backs and started tying us up. And we were each begging for our lives because they were deciding whether to execute us, and they had guns to our heads. And, and I remember thinking, God, what am I doing here? And then I thought, will I ever get my cameras back? I mean, which is the most ridiculous thought, of course, when you're about to die. I am the epitome, a coolness can't be writ to me because I will be hitting the mic tonight. Notice my voice went up about two <laughs> octaves. It's because at that time I was listening to nothing but The Far Side, and my favorite rapper in The Far Side had that. Well, there she goes again, the dopest Ethiopian. We are so honored to accept this Peabody Award on behalf of our whole team, and so honored to have it presented by Stephen Colbert. We do a daily show, and not every episode is exactly worthy of an award. Good or bad, as soon as the show is over, it's time to think about tomorrow's episode. The Institutional Peabody Award is especially meaningful because it recognizes our show for the totality of episodes, our larger body of work, and the efforts of our whole team. 
We just celebrated our 35th anniversary as a daily national show. Our show is older than some of our producers. Throughout those 35 years, Danny Miller has been our executive producer, making the final decisions about each daily episode while also dealing with all the long-term issues we face. Despite how stressful his job is, he's a calm, steady presence for the rest of us, especially for me. He's kind of the staff therapist. He's not licensed, but he's learned on the job. The Peabody is given for stories that matter, and that's the same criteria we use when choosing our guests. Our guests share this award for reflecting out loud about their lives, entertaining us, turning complicated issues into comprehensible ones, investigating threats against democracy, and risking their lives to cover war. Terry and I are here to accept this honor, but we're representing the work of our incredible staff, a terrific group of dedicated and creative colleagues who work the long hours and sweat the details, who book great interview guests, do the research, edit the tape, write the headlines for our podcasts and transcripts, and juggle all the things we need to do to bring you fresh air. And our staff of critics who review music, TV, film, books, and podcasts. And we have a technical director who has managed an incredible juggling feat as we've reinvented how to produce the show during the pandemic. We've all been together a long time. Here's the roll call. Dave Davies. Audrey Bentham. Amy Sallett. Phyllis Myers. Roberta Shorrock. Anne-Marie Baldonado. Sam Bricker. Lauren Krenzel. Heidi Simon. Teresa Madden. Molly C.V. Nusper. Thea Chaloner. Seth Kelly. And Joel Wolfro. I have to single out Dave Davies, a veteran reporter who expanded the range and journalistic depth of our show when he joined our team as a regular interviewer. He's helped us think through many complicated issues over the years. In every way, he's a total mensch. We share this honor with the dozens of Fresh Air alums who've worked on the show over the past 35 years and have gone on to other great programs and careers, and whose time on the show has led to friendships which have lasted for decades. 35 years ago, it was Bill Seamring who had the vision and gave us the confidence to take our local Philadelphia show and make it national. We're grateful for the many subsequent years of support from Bill Marazzo and Kira McGrath at WHYY and our colleagues in all the departments at HYY whose support we depend on. And thanks for the generous support from the Neubauer Family Foundation. At NPR, special thanks to Anya Grunman and all of her colleagues who look after us, including a special shout out to the engineers at the NOC who help us out all the time. And to Robert Siegel and Margaret Lowe who looked after us in the early days. I'd like to thank my husband, Francis Davis. His writing and love of language has been a constant source of inspiration. And Terry, I know you'll forgive me for going off script for a second, but on behalf of everyone who works with you now and in the past, I want to thank you for being such a caring colleague and friend. And not to mention your extraordinary ability to make meaningful connections with the guests we have on Fresh Air. When you interview Johnny Cash, at the end of the interview he said, you're really good at your job. I appreciate you. And that expresses it for everybody who works with you. So congratulations to you and all of us. Thank you, Danny. There'd be no fresh air without you, and I wouldn't be here without you, partner. Before we get back to work on tomorrow's show, I want to say again how much it means to us to receive this Peabody Award honoring fresh air as an institution. Thank you.